I remember in my Enchanted review that a lot of people defended the film for Disney having a sense of humor. Yeah, I'm sorry for going back on this and that I'm bringing up a dead horse or something, but I gotta explain. This is one of the arguments in favor of a film I could never understand. Is it that Disney's making fun of themselves in the same vein as other studios like Warner Brothers and DreamWorks? Well, that can be debated. I can say that Disney does have shorts and films that are just as funny, if not funnier, as their competitors. Funnier in a way that makes Enchanted seem more like a lazy parody. As far as films goes, The Emperor's New Groove is one of the best examples of a film that manages to be a wacky comedy with screwball archetypes and instances of making fun of their own tropes. The shorts are probably where you'll find a plethora of examples of Disney pulling in big laughs. The one short I want to discuss today is the Mickey Mouse short in 1942 called Symphony Hour. I think the best way I can describe this short is, as far as the story goes, is an unofficial sequel to the band concert. You know, the first Mickey Mouse short made with a large palette of color using the three strip overlay that Disney had the rights to use. You know, common knowledge. This is also the short where Donald Duck screws with a band and the one with the tornado scene that Cloudy with a chance of meatballs will rip off in the near future. Doesn't matter, it's still a good movie. While I consider that this is an unofficial sequel, is that the setup is pretty similar. Mickey is a musical conductor, but instead of conducting a band, he's conducting a full orchestra. And the players include familiar faces from the band concert, including Clara Bell Cow, Horace Horsecollar, Goofy, and Donald, who actually gets to perform this time. Aside from that, the setup is different. Mickey performs a radio broadcast, however when they have Goofy take care of the instruments, yeah, perfect guy, they're all destroyed. From there, hilarity ensues. I'm not kidding, I laugh every time I watch this short. Either it's with Pete getting incredibly frustrated with how the band performs, the actual tune they play, the fact that Donald relentlessly tries to give up but is forced to play against his will, or the fact that they contains not one, not two, but three dated politically incorrect ethnic stereotypes. That's it! Oh, oh, that's just the right! Macaroni is got the new fine! Yeah, I know that's pretty offensive to pass off today, but in the context of its time, it was considered the norm, and I can't hold the short against that. Otherwise, I think this short has a prime example of Disney having a sense of humor, to the point that I think you may as well give it a watch for yourself. That is, if you can tolerate these three things.